What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight I'd like to show you guys how to set up the Android SDK in Arch Linux or in this case a derivative of Arch Linux, Manjaro Linux. So before I get going I want to answer a few commonly asked questions at the very top of the video. First and foremost, what you see down here in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, that is FFmpeg. I'm using that to capture my desktop as well as my audio. What you see down here is Docky. Again, I'm using Manjaro Linux XFCE edition, 64-bit. Uh, my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080, so uh, feel free to watch this in high definition, especially when we start getting into typing out some terminal commands as well as editing some files. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, I'll, the other question you may ask is what theme I'm running. This is a elementary um, based theme specifically for XFCE and the icon theme that I'm running here, I'll show you guys, is Fayence Azure. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um, I will, in, now you can in, uh, install this icon theme um, from the AUR repository and as far as uh, again the GTK theme I'll include a link in the video's description below uh, as to where you can get that. So that's pretty much it. Um, first thing we want to do now is we want to go to developer.android.com and we want to download the SDK. All you've got to do is hit this big blue button. Now it's going to ask you to uh, accept the terms and conditions and then pick your appropriate architecture 32 or 64 bit. Uh, I have 64-bit, so I've already uh, gone, gone ahead and downloaded that for the sake of time. That's going to download in a zip file. I placed that particular, um, I've extracted it and placed the contents in my home folder, and I've renamed it android.sdk. Now, if you open uh, up that directory, you're going to see Eclipse and SDK. And then, of course, you're going to see um, platform tools and ADB. You're going to probably use ADB more than anything else in the SDK. And to be able to connect our Linux desktop to our phone and to be able to push files, pull files, uh, and do a number of things, we're going to use ADB. So if you're on a 64-bit uh, system specifically and you're running Arch Linux, if you try to um, start the ADB server, you're going to get an error. Uh, that's because you're missing a package. We're going to go ahead and install that package now. We're going to do so by executing sudo pacman dash capital S lib 32 dash n curses so just hit enter it's gonna ask if you want to install it just select yes and that's pretty much it so once you install that package if you put yourself within your SDK directory and then platform tools and you run ADB shell ADB shell should work no problem now, if you don't want to have to put yourself within that directory every single time you want to connect to your device, you can edit your bash RC file uh, and then add an entry to it. So the way you'll do that is just type in gedit.bashrc. Now that's going to open up your bash RC file. Come all the way to the bottom. Uh, you can comment this with anything you'd like. You can put... Um, Android ADB if you want, whatever you want to put in there. You'll type export and then uh, the word path in all capitals, um, colon, dollar sign, uh, no I'm sorry, path equals and then the dollar sign, the word path again in all capitals, colon, forward slash, and now you're going to do the path to your um, to your SDK. If you're not sure how to find the path, and I get this question all the time, navigate to the directory that the ADB is in, which would be platform uh, tools. Take ADB, we'll open up a new terminal window. Take ADB and then just drag it right here. So as you can see, this is the path right there. So if you wanted to just copy that and paste it right here, that will do the whole path for you. So you don't have to worry about trying to find out what that path uh, to the file is. Okay, so once you have that in here, all you're going to do is hit File. You're going to save that. Now we want to restart our bash file. So we're going to do that by typing the word source 
and then dot bash rc. That's going to restart the bash file. Now, theoretically, as long as I have uh, Android debugging enabled on my phone and I uh, inputted that uh, path correctly, I should be able to just type adb shell, hit enter. Perfect. So I did not have to put myself within the SDK directory to execute adb shell because I added it to my bash rc file. Now, if I just uh, hit ls to list out uh, all the contents here of the phone, I can also cd into my SD card, list all that out, and here's the contents of my Samsung Galaxy Nexus SD card. As you can see right here, I have a CM 10.1 experimental ROM, I have some gaps, and that's pretty much it. So now at this point, I can push uh, files to my phone, pull files off my phone, reboot my phone. I can do a ton of stuff with the Android SDK. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys out, specifically those of you who are running a 64-bit system on Arch Linux or a derivative of Arch Linux. Uh, this is going to be one of many um, Android videos to come, specifically on uh, Arch Linux. So hopefully you guys liked it. If so, feel free to give me a thumbs up. And um, until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.